So what's your daily routine? What's your daily schedule, right? How do you know that you are improving every single day? Who are you watching? Who are you following? Who are your mentors? I know that when you study successful people, right? Because I believe in learning, reading, watching videos, really trying to improve. Then when you follow them, they have a structured routine, a structured system for the first couple hours of their day. I was recently with a gentleman. I just did a video not too long ago about how he went from homeless to $100,000 a month. And when he was homeless, he was lazy. He didn't have a routine. He wasn't going anywhere. And now the gentleman gets up at 3 a.m., does an hour of working out, hour of meditating, hour of reading. Oh, and he takes a cold shower, right? He's just more serious about being successful than most people are. Right? And when I start to think about that, I'm like, how serious am I? Am I as serious as he is? Because I know when I study successful people and you read books and you look at people and you watch people, they have specific things that they are doing in their life that are habits, that are daily habits, that are going to propel them to success just by doing them. Right? Cardone says, if you don't quit, you can't fail. Most people quit though along the way. If you think about our industry, 92% of insurance agents fail within the first three years. And it's because they quit, because they gave up, because they didn't do whatever it took, right? So I wanna help you and establish some routines, some discipline, some consistency. And I'm gonna give you my daily power five today of things that I do every single day to be successful to win, to take this thing seriously, because I want you to think about yourself right now in 10 years. What's that look like? I'm 29 right now, I'll be 39, okay? Think about you in 10 years, how old will you be? What will your life look like? What will you be driving? What will your family look like? Where will you be living? What kind of income will you be earning? Will you still be grinding? Will you have a team? What does that ideal life look like to you? And how do we take, make, to take some steps today to get you to that, right? Your daily habits will help you create the life that you deserve and the life that you want. I was just at 10X and I paid for an additional two-day mastermind. And by going to that mastermind, he talked about creating your ideal life and what do I want my ideal life to be in 30 years when I'm 59, right? Yeah, well, I wanna be flying around on a private jet. I want to be known as the greatest insurance speaker in, in the world, the best, right? I want to have a $100 million company. I want 10,000 insurance agents at our 8% Nation conference. What do you want? Think about it. I want, you to, I want to challenge you, right? Start having some vision boards. Start having some goals. Start taking this thing seriously. And how does this daily power five fit in to where you want to go and where you know you want to be? So here's my daily power five of five things I do to start every single day and I promise you, if they work for me, if they help me be more serious, then I bet they'll help you be more serious as well. Okay, so here they are. Number one, all right, I believe in getting up in what's called the 5 a.m. club. Thanks, James Whitley and Grant Dockery for, for, for coining it the 5 a.m. club. That's waking up between 5 a.m. and 5.59 a.m. Now, I'm not saying that I'm absolutely perfect at doing that every single day, but it's something I strive to do, okay, between 5 a.m. and 5 59 a.m. It's part of the 5 a.m. club. And, and you say, well, why would you do that? Well, it, 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 it it's, creates a good habit of starting off your day. It also gets you woke up because Brian Tracy in The Art of Closing the Sale, he says that you should get up two hours before any business or sales-related activity, right? So if you say, if, say you woke up at 5.59, two hours later, it's 8 o'clock. 7.59 to be exact, right? And you may or may not be transacting business, right? So if, you, if you're waking up right now at 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock, you're not really going to be woke up or even ready to transact business until probably like 10 a.m., okay? So that's the first one, waking up, 5 a.m. club. The second one is going and working out every single day, right? Even if I don't want to work out that day, I'll do some cardio, Hey, I follow this app. It's the Body Fit app by bodybuilding.com. It's a little Body Fit app, and it tells me what to do every single day. All right, it has me it has me hitting the weights like four, four times a week, a couple cardios, a rest day. I typically do cardio anyway on rest day. But I wake up and work out because it gets me it, it gets my blood flowing, gets me excited, gets me moving, gets me thinking, gets me gets my wheels turning. And, and if I do that, 
I'll probably pick up the phone and get more serious later in the day when I don't feel like it. And my energy's got to be right. I'm big on energy. I'm big on enthusiasm. I think energy is everything. And by getting up and working out, it gets my energy right. Gets my day started off right. Gets me focused. Gets me, I become more serious, right? So that's the second one. The third one is I come back and I want to learn. I want to soak something up. Right? I want to watch a video, read a book, listen to an audio book. I'm, I'm, I'm reading a book right now called There's No Plan B for Your A Game. And it's strong. The first 50, 50 pages are unbelievable. All right, I've read a ton of books. One of my favorite sales books are The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone or uh, Brian Tracy's The Art of Closing the Sale. I remember when I was 20 years old, I made $117,000 in my first eight months. And I listened to that Art of Closing the Sale by Brian Tracy every single day for literally eight months. Because I had no insurance experience, no sales experience, I didn't know what to do. So learning and soaking it up, watching, or, or, or you know, our team is watching a sales university every single morning. Be watching, be learning, be improving, be training. Okay, so that's the third thing is to really want to become a master of your craft and get serious and take this thing seriously because great salespeople, they get better every day. We, 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 we feel like you're stagnant then you're probably moving backwards. You're not moving forward, you're moving backwards, right? It's impossible to stand still and be the same that you were. Okay, I remember when I made 117 grand after eight months, I then went and took a few days off. More like a few months off because I made 117 grand in my first eight months. I focused on school and basketball. And when I came back several months later, I was rusty. I wasn't the same. I walked out of a house not closing business and I told myself, if you would have just stuck with it, you would have closed that piece of business. But instead, you took time off and you're rusty. You know, you need to get back to training. You need to get back to, back to being serious. You need to get back to role playing. So that's the third one. Train, learn, improve. Number four, one of the more important ones. Write down your goals every day. I write down my goals every single day. There's five I write down. You know, I believe in what writing down goals can do. You know, we will have 10,000 attendees at 8% Nation in the future. We will own a jet. We will have a $100 million company, right? I will be known as the number one best insurance speaker in the world. And I will, at some point, have so much attention in my marketplace that I'll be able to help every insurance agent in the world. That's a big goal of mine. That's a big mission of mine. I want to leave a legacy on this industry like no one else has. You know, and maybe that'll at least challenge you to think bigger. You know, I'm sure several people will jump in comments and, you know, make fun. You know, I'll use it as fuel. But either way, I know that writing down my goals keeps me focused on the task at hand. It keeps me serious. It keeps my mind thinking about what am I doing and I only do things that help me get closer to my goal. Helps me closer to my goal, I'll do it. If it doesn't, I don't. I'm serious about reaching my goals, man. And I take it very seriously. And I'm excited about trying to get to my ideal life and hit those goals. So what are your goals? I'm gonna challenge you right now. Start to think about what your goals. What are your goals? Do you write them down every day? What are they? What should you be writing down? Think about your ideal life 10, 20, 30, 40 years in the future. What's that look like? Write it down and then write it down every day and get serious about it, right? So that's number four. Number five, and most of you, most of you will probably do the first four. You won't do, you probably won't do the, the last one. Uh, very few people I know in my life will actually do number five. It's insane, it's crazy. You're probably thinking, Cody, what is it? It's nuts and it's a cold shower. Cold shower every day. I gotta finish with my shower with a cold shower to get serious. Tony Robbins jumps in a pool. A, 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 he does what's called a, um, a plunge into a pool, polar plunge or whatever he calls it. 57, uh, the water's 57 degrees and he jumps in every morning. I know that I've seen, I've heard of success, successful people and athletes taking cold showers a day. You heard about the gentleman earlier that's in the insurance business that went from homeless to 100K a month. He takes cold showers every day. There's two reasons why cold showers are powerful. Number one, it wakes you up I mean, you are ready to attack the day. It wakes you up big time. I took one this morning, okay? And the second reason is, you know that when I start my day off doing something I don't wanna do and that I hate and I don't enjoy, when the time comes for me to pick up the phone, I'll be more likely to pick it up whether I want to or not because I already did something that I hated to start my day. There's power in doing something you don't like to start your day and making yourself do it. And you're more serious than people that, that, that don't when you think and do things that way. So that's the daily power five, right? 5 a.m. club, working out, learning, writing goals down and taking a cold shower. I wanna challenge you to start to get serious. I know that 
The Daily Power Five and going to events and getting around events has been a life changer in my business. We've 10 extra income over the last couple years simply because I take things more seriously now than I used to and I'm committed to being the best version of myself that I can be. So I want to challenge you to set some daily habits that you can do every day that in five years, 10 years, 20 years, your future self will thank you for doing them today. Hey, if you love this video and you want the best system for selling insurance over the phone, I've got a video right here for you. Click on that thing. You're going to love it. A lot of amazing stuff in that. And I'll see you there. It is extremely difficult not to prejudge a lead. Any manager that tells you don't prejudge a lead, don't prejudge a lead, don't prejudge a lead, I'm telling you that manager tried really,